Welcome back, friends, to the channel. This is something that uh, was requested. I got uh, one of my subscribers asked if I could recommend a really good EDC bag, or what bags do I like? And a lot of you from the last um, survival, the, the protesting survival kit wanted to take a look inside, so I will show you when I get done with this quick review how I set mine up and what I keep inside, so stay tuned for that. So. The, you'll see I have two here. This is one of the very few things, only one of two that I can think of that we have liked so much as a family that we bought a second, i.e. I bought mine first and then Mrs. W had to have hers as well. So this is the original one right here from Mystery Ranch, Bozeman, Montana. Most of you guys will remember Dana Design Backpackers. I believe uh, the guy that started that started a new company, Mystery Ranch, and they make the best wildland firefighter packs, as well as a lot of really, really high-end, best of the best hunting and military gear, and some urban stuff as well. So really cool company. My, my favorite, one of my favorite uh, bag companies, for sure, if not the. Mrs. W has the brand new one, which has a whole bunch of cool features that are better uh, than what I have. So this is what you'd be getting here. But just real briefly, what's cool about these bags is that they, if you're a business purple person or you're, you're handling laptops or computers or maybe files and things, a backpack is just not ideal, right? And sometimes, you know, you might work in a place where you need to be a little bit more grown up than showing up with a backpack, right? You're not in high school anymore. Um, I'll tell you a funny story, Mrs. W. I hope she doesn't mind if I tell you this. Mrs. W has a very fancy education and had a very fancy job uh, when I met her and worked at a very fancy uh, place downtown uh, Portland. <laughs> and she, she has, Mrs. W has, has almost no, uh, she doesn't care what people think. She doesn't care what people think she wears, drives. So she was driving one of the worst cars I have ever seen in my life. It was actually so bad that we had this game when we were dating when we, we would like drive into the bad parts of Portland, North Portland, and the game was try to find a car that's worse than the one that you drive, right? So it was like a 1987 Mazda oxidized paint. It didn't even have power steering. Mrs. W's shoulders, were, you know, she looked like she had softballs on her shoulders from steering that thing. Uh, it was a terrible car, but the funny story is that it was, uh, she was informed kind of through the grapevine that it might uh, be a good idea for her to get a new car. <laughs> Apparently, some of the um, staff didn't like uh, that uh, Mazda park next to their uh, Beamers and, and Porsches, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a funny story. I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but anyway, the bag. So Mrs. W, she's used mine several times and she's got her own now too as well. So let me bring you up here close and I'll show you the features on the new one and then we will, uh, I'll show you how I set mine up. These bags are so good, guys. You, you carry them three ways. So you've got just regular loop handles, quality-wise of their top, top notch. These are not USA made. A lot of uh, Mystery Ranch stuff is made in the USA, but that's usually their wildland firefighting packs and that sort of thing. These are made overseas, but of excellent quality. Rest assured, uh, great solid company. Just everything, it, just the way they stitch it, it's, it's beautiful materials. Way better than mine. Bigger, heavier zippers, great big heavy zippers with water or with big poles, the waterproof ones. Uh, but the way you can carry this is just traditionally like this with a handle, which is really nice when you're you know at the airport, or you've got the removable shoulder strap which is really lightweight, so you can roll it up and, and just stuff it away in a pocket and take it off. I hate bags that don't give you that option. Sometimes you don't want that strap. You know, I hate having a strap running around. I end up uh, catching it on everything. So you can use that or don't use it. But the cleverest part is that it folds into a really great backpack right here. And you just pull these webbing. They all store in there so you wouldn't even know. You pull the webbing out. It's got really nice fast text buckles, padded, ventilated, Shoulder straps that are curved, nice, you know, so they don't sp spread apart. Uh, and there you have a really great backpack that carries really good. And because it's square or rectangle, it ca you can put a lot of stuff in here. And it's totally expandable. If you look at, there's a whole bunch of zippers on here because you have two different compartments. But hers is, a here we yeah, her hers is a little bit different. This zipper here, if you open this up, you can expand the volume. Right there, check that out. Now you get you know, a whole bunch more. It really does get puffy. 
Because when you travel, you know, isn't it, you always come back with more than you left. We always end up like people give us things or we'll buy a shirt or a coat or something and then that, that helps you out. So my rule of thumb is don't expand it until you're on your way home and you've got a little bit of extra space there. But another thing that mine doesn't have, it's very similar the way this front pocket opens, but mine just has a Fastex buckle and then there's two zippers, which I've not had any complaints, but, but this one has a, a special magnet. So you grab this pole here, just lift it up, it breaks that magnet, and these zippers are designed to come right up. So you can easily, just I'll show you really again, show, show you on my shoulder here. So if I was gonna carry something, you know, that you needed to get to really quickly, right? You know, use your imagination there. Uh, grab this pole, pull it up, and then you can get right in here. And you even have a nice zipper pocket there would, that would fit a variety of uh, all sorts of things, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then pens and pockets, things like this, right? That's really nice. So that's, that's the one you were gonna get to really quickly. Now the main compartment and is just similar. It's large, uh, but it has a divider in it and a couple more pouches. So if you need to carry like a hard drive or something or a couple of magazines, you know, maybe two uh, Magpul mags would fit in there really nicely. And then it's got the soft Velcro here so you can put, you know, like I'll show you in mine in a minute. And then in here, you just have the sleeve that's divided, padded divider, so you can have a laptop uh, and a tablet or two laptops, right? Because that's the way I'll, I'll go with, you know, a PC and a Mac. So, and I know, I know you can run them both on one machine. I don't want to do that. But again, what I was telling you from last time, a piece of soft body armor, right? That slides in there because this can be worn as a backpack up really high, right? You can cinch those straps up and if you needed that sort of protection, right? That's not completely out of the realm of possibility these days, is it? You can thread this on, you know, and wear this on the front like this, right? And, and cinch it up, it pulls pretty tight and you can still, basically it's like a mini chest rig, right? And that's a pretty cool feature. I mean, how many briefcase, briefcases can you do that with? And it's soft and it crushes down and, and you can put a whole change of clothing in here, all sorts of things. And they come in all sorts of colors too. You can get camo if you want or tan, tan or black, probably what I'd recommend. You don't want to look too tactical. Actually, I do admire Mrs. W's tan one here. If I thought I could get away with it, I would do the Swaparuski. All right, let's take a look inside mine and I'll show you how I set, have set up. This is what I've, I've been going to town a lot back and forth and this is what I grab when, when I'm really in a hurry. I just need a grab and go, I'll grab this and I always now have a carbine with me, right? As you should, just in case. So this is to support all of that and I don't mess with it, I don't get in it, I'm not in and out of it, it's all packed, it's all set and it's ready to go. I have uh, basically an IFAC here. So there's a combat gauze there, there's a Israeli bandage, a cat tourniquet, trauma shears, and a combat knife. So this is one of my favorites. It's such a good value. If you haven't seen one of these or felt one there, it's a, I think it's the SOG mini seal pup or seal pup, something like that. And this is a great little knife, really affordable. It's got a kind of a buoy, buoy design there, but a good all general purpose. It came with kind of a cheesy sheath with a pockets and all that stuff. I didn't like that. So I pulled this out of it. I put a piece of female Velcro on there, which I can stick that right in my web gear, right behind a, a placard for uh, holding magazines, right? I'll, you can use your imagination. So that, should, so that, it also didn't fit very tight. So I put, put a piece of female Velcro. I lined with the inside and that gives it some friction. It goes in nicely. It doesn't catch, uh, but it's really tight. You know, that won't come out. So that's kind of just the sheath. And then in here, I've got some earplugs and I've got some extra batteries and my favorite carriers. These are the um, toolsaviation.com. These are designed for pilots and they're the best battery cases and you can get them for any battery. And I color, I color code everything. So my orange are double A, my uh, nine volts are yellow, my CR123s are red. So when I see the case, I immediately just know exactly what it is. Is there anything else in there? There's a lighter for who knows why. why. Why wouldn't you, right? In case you need to smoke. 
You can see here before we start that it's not even, it's not overstuffed. I still haven't even opened up the expander here like that, so it's not, not bad at all. And in here is a full, a full plate carrier, right, with ceramics, right, and extra mags in and a secondary. So that's kind of a grab and, that's the grab and go deal I'm talking about here. So this goes in here. I've been wearing these. Uh, unfortunately, I live in a state where there is mandatory masks in everywhere. It's just, it's so ridiculous. So I just wear this around my neck, just a cashmere, just this tube, and feels good on my neck, protects it from the sun, and also I can pull it up as a mask, you know, so I, that's what I've been doing. It's been working. I don't like it, but it's been working out. So I keep that in there on the top because I want to always have that because I was always forgetting it. So in here, I basically have a placard. Should I take it out? So in this one, the Velcro, there's Velcro sewn all across here. So I have a placard for a Spiritus uh, Covert with a mag, um, a Surefire Light, an extra mag, a G26, all ready to go just to peel it off and stick it on. Or just I can use it right out of here, right? Because these... M4 stretchy mags by Spiritus, they make a really, really good uh, holster, seems to me. Here I've got the awesome little, these little um, micro bat. I gotta put his website there. He sent these to me. It's a, and I really like his stuff. He's making these cool little things that help you uh, store small items. He makes uh, these little uh, bags. And I'll, in my description, I'll put a link to his website if you want these. And you can stick them on anywhere. And you can get different things, like these are just loops. You can put double A's or CR123's in there, or glow sticks. But I like to have a small, like a coin purse, where I can put something small in there, right? That's not gonna just go to the bottom of my bag and I'm not gonna be able to find it. What I typically do, you know, if I, if I need to, I can just put my, my EDC knife in there, right? And, and I have been doing that. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my 940 in there and just let it stay. And then it's, it Velcros right here or anywhere. You can stick that thing. You can even take it off and stick it on your chest rig, right? You have a nice little, basically a coin purse, which is really cool. Those come in all different colors. I like those. And then here I have, here, I'll just take them out and I'll show you. So these placards, if you're wondering, well, oh, that Velcro really sticks, doesn't it? Amazing stuff. This is a placard right there that's just ready to go. And then I have an expander wing in here that I use for my radio. Here, I'll, show, I'll put it together here, you'll see. It's cool, right here. So this is also from Spiritus. You know, these mesh together like that, become one unit. So you got your whole thing, right? So you slap those together. And then in here, this is the computer sleeve where you'd normally just put a laptop. And here's a full set of ceramic military grade body armor. Yeah, I know. That's cool, huh? So, oh, I just found a huge flaw in my system. I took these buckles off. I'm glad I did this. So these placards, well, let's do it here, are Velcro backed and they just stick on here like this. And normally there would be the buckle in there that would secure those. And I'll have to go weave those. And you can add them or subtract them with uh, the covert so it's as slim as possible, which is really nice. So there you have a pretty good setup, right? If you need that extra pouch, you know, there you've got your extra add wing. And in there is just extra mag and my carry, you know, my carry mag for my G26 with the little clip on it put whatever you want to in there. It just expands and just gives you some options, right? So there, out of the briefcase, comes this pretty capable rig, right? Wouldn't you think? G26, one spare, I guess two, and then one M4 mag. So I thought that was kind of cool. And that all fits really nicely in this bag. Well, I also carry my sling, because I, I stopped, I carry it around so much that I, it hangs up and I get tired of it. So I finally just took it off and I just keep one in the bag. So if I need that, I can add it. And that's a sling for the M4, right? That's basically it, those batteries we talked about. But a pretty good setup. What do these cost? Um, 150 bucks. 
150 bucks, and it's worth every penny. They're a great bag. You'll really enjoy it. A lot of people even compliment on it. We'll, we'll ask about it. Hey, I've never seen anything like that. You know, where'd you get it? Um, but uh, they're cool. Very cool. I'd get this one right here. The one that Mrs. W has is, uh, well, as Jack would say, is fire. Thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. We'll see you in the next video.